you sort of forget in between elections just what a sort of elective, di- elective dictatorship we are and just how profound and all-consuming a change of government is. Here's an interesting point from Amand Menon, who explains how the voice of business had been stifled by the previous government on matters concerning Brexit. Because you can watch, you know, whoever it is from the Tory right moaning about whatever it is they're moaning about and just think, who cares? You, you know, in policy terms, in policy terms, the pressure on the government is going to come from completely different places. One of the things we will see over the next few years are businesses being far more outspoken about the cost that Brexit is imposing on them than they were under the Conservative Party. If you think back to the Conservative Party over the last seven, eight years, you can start in 2015 with John Redwood telling uh, businesses that, that openly back remained that they would be punished. Uh, you have all sorts of stories straight after the referendum of Tory special advisers saying to business leaders, if you raise Brexit, they'll throw you out of the room. If you complain about Brexit, they won't talk to you. You had Boris Johnson as Foreign Secretary saying, F business. Uh, Businesses were cowed into submission under the Conservatives and were not and did not feel able to speak about their concerns. That's changing. You can see that changing now. You see the British Chamber of Commerce two or three weeks ago was saying, actually, we need a closer trade. So that's the first pressure. Click here to find out why Brexit is dead.